guys, what's up? This is Trigger Live, and I'm um, bringing you a gameplay on launch with um, Domination, and I'm playing with my uh, normal group of awesomeness. I'm using the AK-47 with uh, Dual Mag, I believe, C4, um, Hardline, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Hacker is my perks. And right off the bat here, I get a nice little sticky double kill for my spy plane. And that's why I love Hardline, is you can get spy plane in two kills, so... That's always awesome. And, um... There's a dual calm by... Oh, man, who was it? Who was it? You know, I really don't even know at all. <laughs> um... But they were talking about their favorite movies. Um... And I thought I'd elaborate on that. Um, not really my favorite movies, but I just finished watching... It is Sunday. I just finished watching, um... The Walking Dead season... I mean, yeah, Walking Dead... Season 1, Episode 4, and that is, right now, my favorite show. Uh, it's even surpassed House. Surpassed. It's even surpassed House. Um, House used to be my favorite show, now it's definitely The Walking Dead. It's just an amazing, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But don't, don't watch it, because there's only 6 episodes in the entire season. There's definitely a Season 2. Well, not definitely, but all basically confirmed Season 2. Um, there's only six episodes in season one, and, uh, don't watch it on season, I mean, on episode five, because you'll, you'll just be lost, you won't even know what's going on. Some crazy stuff went down in episode four, I won't spoil it for anyone. Um, and yeah, I'm really loving the show. You know, I'm not usually up for, uh, horror shows and, and, uh, movies and stuff, but it's not even really a horror show, it's about, like, it has lots of, um, hidden messages, not hidden messages, but, like, um, world problems that are happening right now has, has a lot of racism in it and um, it's kind of like if the world really was in the state of emergency like that like it is in that movie um, things like racism and stuff would uh, become more prevalent and uh, more people would be not yeah I guess doing it because it's still a major issue in the world right now it's just uh, the only thing holding it back is you know society and with that crumbles then it's obviously still there. And, uh, yeah, it has lots of real-world issues. And it's a really, really good, uh, good, uh, show. It has, uh, <laughs> steal this little kill from Alex. Um, it has a, uh, a really good acting. And, um, special effects are amazing. It's not even, it's like the makeup, special, it's, it's just, it's basically like, if you were to take a movie and make that movie, um, like six hours long, you'd have a uh, Walking Dead. Obviously, it wouldn't be that boring though, sitting in a chair for six hours. But yeah, it's uh, definitely top notch. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's my favorite show right now. My favorite movie is um, definitely uh, No Questions Asked: The Dark Knight. Uh, I just love that movie to death. It's uh, uh, Heath Ledger is amazing in it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing movie. Um, that followed by, you know, I really have, <coughs> I really have no idea what it's followed by. But, oh, sorry about that skip. This is on theater, and someone left, and, you know, when the host leaves, it messes up theater mode. So, that's what happened there. But, um, some of my other, these aren't in order anymore, but, um, some of my other favorite movies are, um, Kick-Ass, um, Inception. That might be my second favorite, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Inception was an amazing movie. Um, okay, I'm going to talk a little bit <laughs> about what happens in it. Um, and my brother brought up a good point when I was talking to him about this. But, um, spoiler alert, if you don't want to listen, if you don't want to hear some things about Inception, um, skip about 30 seconds or so. Um, okay, so here it is. In, in Inception, whenever um, the main character dreams, he is wearing a wedding, wedding ring, because in his dreams, he's still married to uh, that girl. And um, at the end of the movie, um, at the end of the movie, there's a nice little, not a nice little, uh, uh, well, there's a kind of a plot twist or a um, cliffhanger almost, where he spins the medallion, or the whatever it's called, and... Uh, it continues to spin, so lots of people were like, oh, he's still in his dream or not, but, um, he wasn't wearing his wedding ring at the end, 
So um, this leads to some people to speculate that uh, he was, in fact, that's the real world. And um, I'm just about to rape some kids with my Huey. But um, and then when I was telling this to my brother, he obviously knew this. He uh, he gets quite deep into movies, and um, he pointed out the fact that. Um, uh, no one should really be questioning if he was asleep or not asleep. Um, the main point of what uh, Christopher Nolan was trying to get across is that can we really know if we're dreaming or not? Like, is there enough clues to um, point us towards one answer or another? And uh, that made me think, you know, like maybe we are dreaming, maybe we're not. And uh, yeah, just kind of a cool little point of view on Earth and stuff. And uh, yeah, I get a nice little uh, destroy 10 enemy equipment with my chopper gunner. So that's pretty awesome. Not with my chopper gunner, but I destroy an enemy equipment with it to get a challenge. So, um, and also there's a uh, video out. Oh, man, I don't know who are putting out these videos. I should have planned this. Um, there's a video out talking about how you can get kill streaks with your um, chopper gunner. And if you haven't seen it, um, I won't be able to put the link in the description because it's machinima. And the videos to find out machinima are impossible because, you know, there's just. There's so many, you can't look through them all. Um, and, uh, it talks about if you shoot a car with a chopper gunner and the car blows up and that's the thing that kills the person, then, uh, that counts as a kill towards, uh, your kill streak. So, you know, just a little tip. And, uh, yeah. So, um, some exciting, horrifying... I'm gonna go uh, between exciting and horrifying on this on the feeling specter. There's <laughs> this is the news. Um, I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled. Uh, I'm 15. Uh, they usually pull them around 16 or 17, but uh, I have a uh, growth of some sorts. They think it's a cyst underneath my uh, wisdom teeth, so they just want to get it out early to make sure nothing happens. There's basically no risk for the surgery. There's like a one in one million <laughs> possibility that something could happen, even if it did, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'll be home um, almost all week, because uh, they have to really dig into my dig into my jaw to get that uh, cyst out. So I'll be home for most of the week. Um, I'm getting it on my, on Tuesday, and uh, so uh, if I don't go to school, I'll probably, I'll probably go to school Friday, but I might not even go Friday, it just depends on how I'm feeling and stuff. I'm going to be really high on Tylenol and stuff, but um, I'll try and get some Call of Duty gameplay and stuff, maybe some more commentaries, if I can talk, hopefully I can. Uh, it just depends on the operation, how it goes and stuff. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, take it easy guys. Uh, 38 and 4, almost a 10k 